Люди все равно думают то, что хотят думать. Я даю им это право. Невозможно влиять на восприятие. Это игра на поражение, поэтому я не играю. Я позволяю им проигрывать. Теряться в собственных догадках насчет того, кто я. Бунтарь, ангел, романтик, сердцеед, ребенок, мужчина. Возможно, я совмещаю в себе эти грани. Возможно, ни одну из них. Что и есть, мне саму предстоит выяснить. Это не может быть мне навязано. Это то, что я должен узнать сам. Well, it wasn't my choice. It was my mom's choice. Uh, when you're young, you don't really know what you need in your life and what you want. And when you grow up, you start to think for yourself and you think, is this the right thing you're doing? Is this uh, what you want to do? Is this what you're meant to do? And you start to fight with yourself, with your own instincts, what you want to achieve in your life. My uh, main issue was when I was a kid, I was free, you know, like before my gymnastics, before my, I started ballet. I was on the streets, you know, playing with kids, being free, doing whatever I want, you know, like no control, no responsibilities. And that was the happiest time. And from uh, four and a half, I was put into gymnastics. And then from there, I went to ballet, straight away to ballet school, and that was quite strict. Till 21, this big period of time, like where you want to be uh, in, well, like be a... Uh, a guy, you know, do normal things that guys do, you know, getting drunk, uh, sometimes fight, sometimes smoke. You know, people have a freedom in a way. I didn't feel that and I felt a lot of pressure with my talent as well. I couldn't mess it up. I couldn't, I couldn't be kicked out. I got kicked out from a country. So I quit a theatre and my visa was attached to the theatre. I don't know what people were saying behind my back. Friends of mine helped me to get a visa so I can come back at least to get my stuff. In England, there was nobody to look after you or to be basically by yourself. And theater has their own interests as long as you perform well. When you live for nine years in a country and you know if you quit the theater, you are, you are out of the country. It's like you're out of your home and you have to find a new home. And that's what I was scared of. Igor Zelensky is probably like my only friend in Moscow at the moment. And it's important, you know, to feel somebody care, uh, somebody care about you. I hate the idea of people saying that you're a rebel. Journalists, they hear one little thing and so they're trying to create something out of it, trying to make a big headline out of nowhere, really. It was actually quite funny for me. You know, it was just, I was playing with them in a way. It was nothing serious. Это мое право и ошибаться, и исчезать. Но прежде всего не давать комфорту брать вверх. Ни сейчас, никогда. Поскольку предсказуемость скучна. А против скуки нужно восставать. I don't have a struggle anymore. I just um, do whatever I want. So I don't have any rules. My mom was very young, like when I was born. So she was learning while I was learning as I like what to do for your kid. I always wanted to be by myself from six years old. It's who you are. It's not like I developed into the person who lives by himself. I got a lot of different ideas in my head all the time. And sometimes, you know, I wanted to go to army. It's an instinct, an instinct to go and fight. I see men as a strong figure, you know, like who is uh, bring food to the table, you know, like who works. My dad always went to work outside the country. He was a builder. For example, you see him after a year for one day and then he leaves again. I would rather like not to see the person than have that unpleasant feeling. You like lose a person when he leaves somewhere else to live and I think that's the saddest feelings I had when I was, you know, I kid. And you just try to avoid that. You try to avoid getting too close. Somebody who you think might, might go away or whatever. You learn how not to feel sad or bad or, you know, you just learn with life. 
And whatever makes you feel sad, you just try to avoid that. When you grow older, you always tend to replace something where you miss when you're younger. That was my dad for this uh, when I was a kid. So now I want to feel like some somebody behind me, somebody strong, and I found that neighbor. He's like like my dad. А инстинкт остается молчаливым и решительным. Вот почему инстинкт мой брат. Поэтому я доверяю ему. Мы одно. Инстинкт и я. Инстинкт это сильный, молчаливый тип. As a um, human being, you know, like to have a reason just to be happy. And freedom of making your own decisions, your own choices.